the co-founders of Corral, and we're really thankful that you all would join us today. Um, this is a fun evening for us, but it's also very exciting uh, for Corral. And it's almost more appropriate, I think, that the weather was bad and it forced us all inside <laughs> to be elbow to elbow um, because this Corral house and this space is what we're here to celebrate today. So thank you for coming. Um, Joy or someone is going to say some words uh, about what store office environments has done for us through their donation and also what the future of Corral holds. And we're so thankful to celebrate this night with you around the holidays. So thanks for being here and thank you for coming. Thank you everyone for being here. This is a really big day for Corral. Uh, it is more than just uh, office makeover. Um, Corral is about redeeming lives, redeeming lives that are broken. And this hundred year old farmhouse was very broken. <laughs> and what Store has done is show that there is life, um, there is redemption, things can become new again. And that's what's, what's happening here. Excitingly, um, the Lord has done some really uh, amazing things in, in Corral's life over the last six months. Uh, just before Store came in, we uh, asked ourselves as a board and as a visionary committee, what's the future for Corral? We had gotten to a place where we had grown and we said, okay, we're past that startup stage, what's next? What's important for Corral and what's important for the community? And uh, the board determined that we wanted to stay on our current site and we wanted Corral to become a, a mothership or this farm to become a mothership for corrals like this throughout the community um, at different farms throughout the Triangle. And uh, we said, well, that's a really exciting vision um, but it's a little bit daunting to imagine that we can stay on this farm and we can make this farm our forever home. So how is that going to happen? And right as we were asking that question, Store came in and said, you know, we're going to invest $50,000 into your office space. And uh, we believe that you all are worth it. And so we said, well, gosh, if Corral thinks we're worth, in, or if, if Store thinks we're worth investing in, shouldn't we be investing in it? So today is an especially exciting day because it marks the first day of our capital campaign. And it is our dream to make this farm our forever home and have uh, farms just like this all over the Triangle as we create satellite programs all over the Triangle. Um, there's something, an, another piece of this that has been brought to my heart that I'm going to read in just a minute. But before I do, I want to make sure that the folks that were part of our visionary committee that helped us determine our vision and other folks in the community have the opportunity to say why they think uh, Corral is important and, and a, a piece of our community. So I'm going to let Pat Baysmore, Chief Baysmore of the Curie uh, Police speak about what Corral means to her and the community first. Okay. <coughs> just want to say, first of all, as Christians, I think that we are all challenged to take care of those that are less fortunate and to give those that don't have a hope a hope and hopefully a hope for, for the future. Um, it's our responsibility as a community to take care of the young girls that come here. When these young girls come to Corral, they're broken, just like this house was broken, they are broken. And thank goodness for them, people like you get on board to really make it your mission to take care of these young girls. What I can tell you is that had it not been for people just like everyone in this room, I wouldn't be where I am today. Uh, um, there were people in my community that also made it their mission to make sure that people that were less fortunate were taken care of. And because of that, I owe my life and my success to people just like you. So I just encourage all of you to get on board with Hope and their, what their mission is for the future and to let's all come together and give these young girls a hope and a future and let's all help them to become successful young women. Miss mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wilkins? I'm Gail Wilkins with the North Carolina Council for Women. And we think women, just as the girls themselves, are just very important. We embarked upon an event ourselves just recently saying that it's time for us to involve ourselves and engage in young girls' lives. And so this is exactly an example of what we wanted to do. I was told earlier that First Lady Anne McCory and Kristen Fields, the Chief of Staff, they're involved. They've been sending notes from the governors on behalf of what we're doing. And so we want to partner and see how we can be a part of this. 
And so I was also told that this is a 100-year project, store server celebrating 100 years. Everything's 100 years. And so <laughs> I thought I would just make just a simple comment. And then as I began to study and read on the internet about 100 years, uh, there was a quick statement and it simply said, anything that has stood for 100 years, such as the oak trees on this property, store of business, or any of our guests, tells me that the well-being and the condition of a thing is really excellent. You think about something that has stood for 100 years, there's great well-being there, there's great conditioning. So I simply tell Joy and her team that we expect um, Corral to continue to flourish and that you'll celebrate your 100-year mark. We want to congratulate you on behalf of the governor, the Council for Women, and our staff. And we just want to be glad to be a part of this. And thanks for inviting me today. Thank you. I'm Jeff Brooks. I'm the chair of the Corral Board of Directors, and I just want to certainly welcome you all here today. There's several of our board here. Uh, this has been an exciting project for us. Corral, in my experience on the board, has been one series of blessings after another, and it doesn't happen from any one person. Uh, it doesn't happen from any one act, but all of us together, like the beams in this house, have raised Corral to the place that it is today. And I came from a parent who was in social services, who, who cared for young children and fought for them and made sure that they had a chance. And she instilled in me that every child and every life has value. And the things that we do today, uh, from the paint on these walls that may help a child share something because they feel comfortable in this room, to a friendly face they'll encounter, all of these things, everything you do is making a difference in their lives. So I just want to thank you for being part of the Corral family. So uh, before we end, uh, I would like to share with you a scripture that has been laid on my heart as we began to discern what the future for Corral was and uh, how applicable it is to, do, to today. It's Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and an opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance to our God, to comfort those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of the joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Amen. <clears throat> Store has made this, uh, this building that was something of ashes, a thing of beauty. My pr prayer for this building now is that it's a place where girls whose hearts uh, are full of ashes become a thing of beauty. The oaks around our building, the 100-year-old oak trees, have been a protection for Corral and for this building now for 100 years. My prayer is that all of us in this room become the oaks of righteousness for protection for our girls. And finally, as the scripture says, I pray that this building and this program become a planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Amen. So as we close, I'm going to ask uh, Tom from store to uh, pray <coughs> for our building, and then we'll cut the ribbon. I'd just like to say a couple comments. I'm Tom Dandigoch, one of the owners of the store, Bob Shannon, <coughs> our partner. Uh, Yes, we got to participate in this, but it's been more of a blessing to us probably than it's been for them. It's so much. It's been so much fun to be able to help transform uh, a space uh, in a instead of just a business setting. It's a setting where it's truly impacting the lives of these young girls. We chose Corral because of the excitement and enthusiasm that the staff portrayed and and the impact that they were having on the community and. Uh, one of the things we saw with this organization and with many of the nonprofits we visited is a real sacrifice and a passion uh, for those in the community. And so we just wanted to commend Joy and the whole staff uh, for you know, their commitment and their sacrifice uh, to those who don't have as much. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, I just pray your blessing on this space, but more importantly on these people, this staff. As uh, they've already talked about, 
we have been blessed and there are many people who don't have as many blessings who maybe have ashes in in their lives we all have pain we all have suffering and i just pray that uh, you would redeem these lives you redeem uh, the difficulties that uh, they've encountered in their young lives pray for the staff that you give them wisdom and that you give them encouragement that they can pass on and give them love in their hearts for uh, the girls because helping others is great but it's also challenging it's messy it it's dealing with the difficulties on a day-to-day basis and we just pray for your love that it would dwell in us that we could pass it on to others just pray for joy in our team and all the the board and all the supporters here uh, this is just the beginning as they said we pray that uh, uh, their impact would uh, grow throughout the community and that uh, it would spread really throughout the world as they impact lives and and those people impact other lives we pray this in jesus name amen, amen. so uh, please feel free to look around the house uh, but before we leave can i make sure that we all give a big round of applause both to store and all the staff of store that are here as well as the volunteers and dan tennis uh, our carpenter who's been our project yeah. manager.